hello everyone and welcome back to my channel this video is going to be very exciting as in this video i will talk about a very special package known as swirl this package can be used to learn r within r uh, swirl teaches you r programming and data science interactively at your own pace and right in the r console so you don't need to go anywhere to learn R programming. You can learn R programming at any time in your R console. So this package is really, really interesting and, and learning R through this package is really a fun. I'm sure you will definitely enjoy learning R through this package. So without wasting our time, let's start uh, learning R through this Swarl package. Okay. First, you have to install a Swirl package. So, to install Swirl package, type type install dot packages quotation mark and press Control Enter to run this function. Okay, it might take some time to install this package. Okay, so now you can see here Swirl package has been successfully installed. Okay, to start learning through this package, you have to load this package. To load a package, you have to type library, then write the name of the package which you want to load, and press Control Enter. Okay, now you can see the Swirl package has been uh, loaded now okay now swirl has been loaded so we will use console to uh, type uh, different codes and will not type codes in script file because it's easy to interact with swirl package through console so i will press ctrl shift 2 to directly zoom into our console okay so now you can see we are only seeing here our console and all the other things have been disappeared as the package has been loaded now what you have to do you have so it's saying hi type swirl when you are ready to begin okay so let's type uh, swirl open parenthesis close parenthesis and press con enter okay so welcome to swirl please sign in if you have been here before use the same name as you did if you are new call yourself something okay let's call myself Numan okay thanks Numan let's cover a couple of quick housekeeping items before we begin our first lesson first of all you should know when you see dot 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 that means you should press enter when you are done reading and ready to continue okay so here you see dot 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 that's your cue to press enter to continue so let's press enter okay so now it's asking select one two or three and press enter one means one for continue to proceed three let's get going okay r of these three functions means the same thing so let's press 2 okay okay you can exit swirl and return to our prompt at any time by pressing the escape key if you are ready at the prompt type by open parenthesis close parenthesis to exit and save your progress when you are exit properly you will see a short message letting you know you have done so okay okay so here are different keys which uh, which uh, for different things typing skip allows you to skip in the current question typing play lets you experiment with r on your own and typing next and typing by will causes swirl to exit and so on you can read uh, the detail of all of these keys so let's get started uh, so here you are seeing dot 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 it means we have to press uh, enter to continue so i pressed enter to continue okay 
to begin you must install a course i can i can install a course from you from the internet okay so uh, there are different courses which you can install and uh, for your practice okay the first course is r programming the basics of r programming in r the second one is regression models the basic of regression modeling in r so i will select one i want to learn r programming and the basics of r programming okay so i pressed one and enter okay now it will install the course and you can see course has been inst successfully installed now okay now it, it is asking please choose a course or type zero to exit well okay so we we will choose a course okay it is asking one for our programming and two take me to swirl course repository okay so i will type here one for our programming okay and press enter okay now again it is asking please choose a lesson or type zero to return to course menu here the first lesson is basic building blocks the second one is workspace or files so i will go for first lesson okay select one and press enter in this lesson we will explore some basic building blocks of our programming language okay and here you are seeing dot 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 it means we have to press enter okay so i have pressed enter you can also see here the progress through this line as we have completed this lesson three percent okay so if any point you would like more information on particular topic related to r you can type help dot start at the prompt uh, which will open a menu of resources either within our studio or your default web browser depending upon your setup you can read all of the instruction and you can play with it okay so here you are seeing dot 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 it means we have to press enter so now you can see the five percent of lesson is completed in its simplest form r can be used as an interactive calculator okay so first we will use r as an interactive calculator so it is asking type 5 plus 7 and press enter so here i will type 5 plus 7 and press enter so okay so here you can see the result 12 all that work is paying off so as i said earlier it's really fun so r simply prints the results of 12 by default however r is programming language and and often the reason we use a programming language is opposed to as a calculator okay again you are seeing dot 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 it means we have to press enter again so i again press enter in this case we may want to use our result from above in second calculation instead of retyping 5 plus 7 every time we need it we can just create a new variable that stores the result okay dot 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 enter the way you assign a value to a variable in r is by using the assignment operator which is just less than some which is just less than symbol followed by a minus sign it looks like it looks like this okay okay again i have to press enter okay think of the assignment operator as an arrow okay you can read all of these details and again press enter to assign the results of 5 plus 7 to a new variable called x type x assignment operator 5 plus 7 okay so here right we will write x five plus seven okay press enter excellent job 
okay you will notice that r did print the result of 12 this time okay you can okay press again enter okay and you can play with it it is really a fun and very easy way to learn r okay so now i'm going to exit this setup i will type by open parentheses and close parentheses press enter leaving swirl now type swirl open parentheses close parentheses to resume okay so this was uh this was a very basic video on swirl package i hope you can now learn r programming through this package and i'm sure this is very uh, very helpful in learning r programming and it also helped me a lot so thank you for watching this video and uh, if you do like this video please hit the like button and if you didn't subscribe my channel please do subscribe it